What's up, TLF family? We're back again. Today we're going to talk about how to fix your gate. Okay, so a lot of people walk in our doors. We see a very common theme over and over. People have collapsed arches, they have plantar fasciitis, they have ankle pain, calf issues, knee issues, back issues, and it all starts from your point of contact, which are your feet. Okay, so I want to bring attention to the feet. They're so so important. Because think about it, what's contact the ground right now for me, it's the feet. That's the first point of contact. If I'm not able to properly transmit force from the ground up, then I'm gonna have dysfunction all the way from the ground up. So we can't see the body as just separate units, and then just kind of like manipulating only the unit we have problems with. It could very well be where we're creating force and where we're, where we're keeping contact with first. So if my knee's hurting or my hip is hurting, it could very well be that my feet are just off. Uh, my feet are just in a bad position. They're always collapsing. They're always causing muscular imbalance, which is causing me more and more pain in the long run. So we're going to talk about what you can do to mitigate that process, how you can fix your gait today, and in other videos, which will be several of these videos, we'll talk about how to actually create slack in the, fit, in the right parts of your uh, tissues, also how to create strength and stability throughout your day. So also we'll talk about shoes a little bit in another video. Let's talk about how to fix your gait. And it begins with acknowledging where you are first. So if you look at my feet right here, right now, I kind of have pretty, a pretty neutral foot for the most part, but most people that walk in here have this collapsed arch position. So the bone right here called the navicular bone, you see that bone kind of falling down? That's a telltale sign that we're in a collapsed position. This is very uncomfortable for me right now. My knees feel like they're aching, my hips feel like they're, they're pinching, my back feels kind of all jacked up. So I immediately want to turn my feet out to make myself feel better. But am I still collapsing into my arches? Heck yeah I am. But it does take some relief off my knees and my hips. It doesn't mean that it's still an okay position. We're just trying to find slack and tension in other areas to make us feel better, okay? So this is your classic duck foot walk we see. A lot of people do, okay? I'll do a little forward and back for you. Okay, it's really strange looking when you look at it from the camera, but this is what's happening for a lot of people. And because of this, we're over tightening a lot of the musculature on the inside right here, pulling everything tight, the arches are pulled tight, all this is locked up, it's pulling the knee into this valgus position. Our hip is impinging tight here. Our lower back is taking the brunt of the load. So everything goes off from just the foot. And the outside of the calf, and the outside here are what we call locked in a long position, okay? So they're in a very stretched position, but locked there. They can't really move. So they're weak here, they're over tightened here on uh, either side of our leg. We need to restructure and rebalance that. Now, the easiest thing you can do first is fix your mechanics. So to fix your mechanics, let's, let's do a little exercise here. You just need like a pencil or some little Allen wrenches and some pennies or coins. Take your feet, even if they're collapsed and they feel like they're kind of uncomfortable, bring them straight. They're probably going to end up like this. And you're probably going to want to get the heck out of this position. But I want you to stay here for a second. Take a penny, place it at the base of your big toe, okay, right there base of the big toe, okay? And then take these pencils or these little Allen wrenches or pens, put them underneath your arch. So at first you're probably gonna be like this, really collapsed, okay? I want you to put pressure down into the penny in the base of your big toe and pressure down at your heel, okay? These are your two points of contact right here. Once you put pressure down there, I want you to lift those arches up off those keys, okay? Or off those pens or pencils. Keep them lifted, nice and strong. You're gonna feel kind of weird, your, your balance will feel kind of strange, uh, but I want you to stay with it for a second. And notice what happened to my knees when I went to collapse, my knees were in, right? When I pulled up through my arches, my knees went back out in a safer position, in a position where we can create more force through our glutes, our hamstrings, and our abs. Just trying this, if you just really pull tight in this position, you're gonna feel your glutes fire. You're gonna feel your abs fire. You're gonna feel like your hams and your feet are working a little harder. Your quads are working a little harder. So, holding this position nice and solid, we're gonna hold for at least like, I'd say three to five minutes. And while you're hanging out, you know, feel free to listen to a podcast, listen to music, whatever you need to do, but hold for like five minutes here. Just really hold it, really hold it, hold strong. And note the sensations in your body. Just note it from the ground up. Just kind of feel this out. 
what would it be like for me to walk around from this place? Okay? At first you're like, man, no freaking way. But that's how it is for anything you learn for the first time. It's gonna feel strange, it's gonna feel weird. So keep pulling up, keep pulling up. Now, again, I'm gonna keep reiterating this in every single video. If you haven't watched the bracing video, make sure you check out the bracing video, because even when you're here, I want you to engage through your Kegel, your obliques, and your upper abs. This will give you more stability and help you get used to lifting your arches up like this. That, new position you're learning, and your core should fire together. Right now there's a dysfunction and disconnect, but we're gonna connect them back together. So I'm gonna hold this for a while. After I hold it for a while, for three to five minutes, and I get used to this position, I'm gonna start walking off the keys, and it's gonna feel really weird. It's gonna feel like, man, I feel like I'm on the outside of my feet. I feel like I'm really light on my feet. This is how you're supposed to feel, guys. You're supposed to feel light and bouncy on your feet all day, okay? But because of our shoes, they have a crazy amount of arch, like really, really high arch, that puts us up in this position right here. Not to say that like we are like all walking in high heels, but in some way, we kind of are. We kind of are walking in high heels. And when we're walking in high heels, guess what? You're here and you're collapsing into that inner arch. We're looking for support. So you walk like this all day, of course we're gonna feel like a wreck at the end of the day. Everything's gonna hurt, knees, ankles, back, everything's gonna feel like crap, right? So, learn to walk first barefoot, practice it at home, practice that static posture. Now, when you start transmitting force, forward or backwards, I'm gonna show you from the head on, head on style and also from the side. When you begin to do that, it's the same concept. You learn how to create force from the base of your big toe and the heel, right? You lift it up. So start there, start from a strong standing position, boom. Abs are engaged to some degree, at least 50%. You begin to walk and then practice landing and absorbing shock this way, by lifting up. You're absorbing the force this way, not absorbing force that way. Okay, absorb it this way and then walk. It's gonna feel like you're a robot at first. You're like kind of walking like Terminator. Okay, and then walking backwards, it's kind of the same way. You can practice going backwards too, same idea. I'm gonna show you from the front. I'm walking, I'm walking. And this lifts my entire spine super upright too. So not only have I changed the way my knees are positioned, my glutes are firing, also my spine's lifting up by way of my feet working really, really hard to stay engaged. Okay, so practice that, practice that while you're walking, when you're standing, when you're walking up stairs, all of it. Because when you're walking up a staircase and you land like this, and you're having to create force to stand up, guess what? You're putting undue amounts of, of stress and pressure in your knee and your hip, which translates to a shitty lower back feeling and a crappy neck and shoulder feeling, okay? But those are the three main points I'm gonna leave you with today. Um, practice standing posture, practice walking posture, and practice moving upstairs. Uh, until next time guys, more videos on this, several more about how to release the tight musculature and balance out your structures. Next time, if you haven't, if you haven't subscribed to us yet, what are you waiting for? Hit the like button, much love.